am Tina. In this channel, I teach CBSE 8th Math. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright guys, now let's get into the video. So guys, let's read the question. Explain how a square is a quadrilateral. So the first subdivision is we have to explain how a square is also a quadrilateral. Okay. So for this, you should know all the properties in this lesson. So here, how can a square be a quadrilateral? Because it has four sides. As you guys know, in square, okay, let me draw a square. In square also, we have four sides. In quadrilateral also, we have four sides, okay. That's why a square is also a quadrilateral. So, in second subdivision, they have asked how a square is a parallelogram. So, this is uh, really easy, okay. So, in parallelograms, opposite sides, opposite sides are equal and parallel. As you guys know, okay, let me write. Okay, this is a square, right? In this, this side is equal to this side. This side is equal to this side, okay? And they are also parallel. It is just a property that you have to know. And in a parallelogram also we have diagonals. In square also we have diagonals or bisector, okay? Okay. So next, we have to prove how a square is a rhombus. So in square, you guys know what is the property of a square? In square, all sides are equal. What about a square? In square also, all sides are equal. But we are mentioning it as opposite sides. But both are uh, similar, okay? Opposite sides are also equal. In square, all sides are equal. So we shall write all sides are equal equal and one more thing is there as i already told you guys in square we have a diagonals isn't it so let me write diagonals bisect at 90 degree so in square no diagonal will bisect each other at 90 degree in a similar way rhombus will also bisect in the uh, bisect the diagonal in 90 degree. So next we have how a square is a rectangle. So in rectangle you guys know that opposite sides are equal. In this not all the sides are equal. Only opposite sides are equal. I told you guys in square also opposite sides are equal and all sides are also equal. So opposite sides are equal. And next, inner angle. Inner angle is 90 degree. Which means inside this. The inside angle is 90 degree. Okay, like that. So, in square also the inner angle is 90 degree. So, this is the answer for this question. So, to understand this more, you have to learn the properties that you, that you will have that you will learn in the beginning of this lesson okay if you guys know that it is really easy to solve this so this is our answer thank you guys for watching this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel bye, bye.